Hi, I'm Nick Lyons. I do work for the European Commission for the Control of Foot and Mouth Disease. This is a short film about the biosecurity measures you should take when you visit a farm with actual or suspected foot and mouth disease. However, you may need to adapt this protocol to the specific situation you encounter. Always keep in mind the three key principles of biosecurity. The first and most important is segregation, which is preventing contact with FMD contaminated areas. Number two is cleaning, the removal of dirt and muck so that disinfectants are then able to work. And three, disinfection. Make sure all areas are covered with a disinfectant at the right strength and for a sufficient contact time. Before arriving at the farm, make sure you remove all unnecessary equipment from the car so this reduces the potential for contamination. You should arrange clean and dirty areas on the back seat and in the boot of the car and both should be lined with plastic sheeting which can be cleaned and disinfected later. Make sure you bring all the necessary equipment with you and it is useful to have a checklist for this. The car should not be driven onto the premises and should be left at a suitable point near the entrance to the farm. You should choose a suitable place for your disinfection point which should be clean and dry, ideally on concrete, and with a clear demarcation between the clean and dirty sides. A gateway is probably best. Now, at this point it's important to remove all unnecessary items that you will not be taking onto the farm. So remove clothes that are not needed, like my jumper, and then I will remove my tie. You don't need to take your watch and just check your pockets and take out anything that you don't need to take onto the farm. For those pieces of electronic equipment that must be taken on the farm, they need to be put in Ziploc bags and thoroughly sealed so they can be cleaned and disinfected when you bring them back off the farm. The phone must never be taken outside the bag while on the farm and should be used through the plastic. Make sure you have brought everything with you to set up your disinfection point and also what you need to go onto the farm with. Once you're on the farm, you will not be able to come back to the car without going through the disinfection point again. You may also have to bring your own water. Okay, so what do we need? We need a plastic sheet, which should be placed on the clean side of the disinfection point. We also need a pair of good quality gum boots, which can be disinfected and cleaned. A disposable suit. And in cold and wet countries like the UK, we would use a waterproof suit as well. Okay, ah, some overshoes. The plastic ones are probably better, but there's a variety of different types. Some scissors for cutting tape later, ah, and lots of gloves. Make sure they're the right size. And there's some tape. We also have some black bags. And also some biosecurity hazard bags. Ah, and some Ziploc bags as well. They can tend to blow away, so a stone is helpful. So I'm going to take these black bags onto the actual farm. So I put them on the dirty side of the disinfection point. This is what I'm going to put my samples in. I now need to make up my disinfectant and detergent using the water that I brought with me. The detergent is going to be on the dirty side of the disinfection point and is going to be used for cleaning off all the dirt and muck that I've picked up on the farm. So the disinfectant I'm using is Vercon. This is approved for foot and mouth disease virus. However, you must be careful to use the right concentration and the instructions are clearly on the packet. There are other things you can use, such as citric acid, but again, you just must make sure that it's the right concentration.
Now I will take one bucket of disinfectant and one bucket of detergent to the dirty side of the disinfection point. I also need some brushes to facilitate the disinfection. This is my bucket of disinfectant that will stay on the clean side with its own designated brush. So now I'm going to get ready to go onto the farm. First I will take off my shoes and these must stay on the clean side of the disinfection point. Then I'm going to put on the inner biosecurity suit which is disposable. So now I'm going to put on an outer waterproof suit. This is okay in cold and wet climates but in a hot climate it really is very difficult to work with a suit like this on. So just the inner disposable suit is probably more appropriate. Now I'm going to put my gum boots on. The inner disposable suit should go inside the gum boot with the outer waterproof suit going over the top. For putting gloves on you need to wear two pairs on each hand. The inner layer is taped to the inner disposable biosecurity suit. It's important to use good quality durable tape and to ensure that a good seal is formed between that inner glove and the suit. Then the other glove goes over the top and can be changed freely if it gets soiled or teared. This process should then be repeated for the other hand. Now it's time for some overshoes. These are quite useful in preventing the build-up of dirt and muck on the bottom of your boot. The long plastic ones that cover the whole boot are best, but you may be given the smaller ones that cover just the bottom of the boot, and these are better than nothing. Now it's time for some final checks. Make sure you're all zipped up. Put on your hood. It's important that only your face is showing. And then just a few final checks to make sure you have everything. Use your checklist. That's what it's there for. Now I take my mobile phone in a Ziploc bag with the paperwork that I need, my sample kit, and I'm ready to go onto the farm. So now I've finished my farm investigation and it's time to follow the second and third principles of biosecurity, that is cleaning and disinfecting. It's useful to use the farm's own facilities to clean off most of the dirt before you come to your biosecurity point. So first I'm starting with the samples container, using detergents to clean off all the dirt and muck before putting it into the disinfectant. Make sure you put it in a disinfectant for the right amount of contact time so that a disinfectant is able to work. Once you have done this, you can then put it into a sample bag onto the clean side of the disinfection point. So now it's time to disinfect the other things you took with you onto the farm such as your mobile phone which you put in a Ziploc bag. This is when you hope the Ziploc bag has a good seal because otherwise you've got a broken phone. You also need to do your paperwork and your, all your paperwork must be put into Ziploc bags as well. So once you've dealt with all your samples and equipment it's time to deal with your own personal protective clothing. First you take off your shoe covers which you put into one of the bags you left on the dirty side of the biosecurity point. Then you need to address disinfecting your boots. So roll up the outer layer of your biosecurity suit. And use the detergents to clean off any mud and any dirt there. And you must be vigorous with your cleaning. Underneath the boots can be particularly tricky to clean, but it's essential you get rid of all mud and all dirt, even that in the treads. And what is quite useful is to maybe have a screwdriver available, which you can then use to clean out those grooves, which are tricky to get with the brush alone. So now it's time to get to work on your outer waterproof biosecurity suit. First you start with detergents and it's important to be vigorous with your cleaning and to cover the entire suit 
which includes the arms, underneath the arms, down your legs, your front, and even the back of your head. All of these areas are potentially contaminated. It's important to be very thorough in this process. You can then remove your outer gloves. And then once you've cleaned the suit with detergent and you're happy that it's clean, you can then proceed to take it off before disinfecting it. For this suit, it is necessary for me to remove my foot from the boot in order to fully take off the suit. I can then put my foot back into the boot, which must then be repeated. The suit then has to be fully immersed in the disinfectant. Again, be sure you know the correct contact time and make sure the entire surface is covered. This is essential in order to allow that disinfectant to work and kill the FMDV. And at this point, you can take it out and transfer it to the bag on the clean side of the biosecurity point. Then it's time to clean and disinfect your boots. So after they are thoroughly clean using the detergent, you must then disinfect them. Again, I cannot say this enough, you must do it for the correct contact time. Now I'm going to take off the inner layer of gloves that have been taped to the biosecurity suit. These must be disposed of in the bag on the dirty side of the biosecurity point. I can then take off the inner disposable suit. Again, in this instance I'm putting my foot back inside the boot so that I can retain balance. This is not an easy process, I can assure you. The disposable suit can then be put again into the bag on the dirty side of the biosecurity point. I can then step onto the plastic sheet. I could have stepped directly onto the plastic sheet when taking off the biosecurity suit if I wanted. And now the boots need to be disinfected again on the clean side of the biosecurity point. These are then put into the bag on the clean side. Now it's time to disinfect my hands and also if you wear glasses these must also be disinfected again being aware of the contact time. It's useful to have some paper towels on the clean side to help this. Now it's time to disinfect the only part of your body that was exposed on the farm, your face. So some disinfectant wipes left on the clean side are useful for this. You must double bag both your equipment. So this is my boots and my waterproof suit. And in a separate bag, you put your samples. Both of these bags need to be sealed and you should use some good strong tape to do this. I can then proceed to put my shoes on and if I brought my own buckets with me to the farm, these also need to be disinfected and double bagged before being put into the car. 
If the farmer has provided these buckets, these must remain on the dirty side of the disinfection point. I then put these bags into the boot of the car which I have designated as my dirty area, which is lined with plastic so it can be cleaned. I then ask the farmer politely to take the rubbish that's been left on the dirty side of the disinfection point so that it can be processed by the cleaning and disinfection team if necessary. You can now leave the farm. You should immediately take all your samples and equipment to a designated location where they can be processed. If you do not own FMD susceptible animals, you can return home, have a shower and thoroughly wash your hair. All the clothes you wore on the premises must be immersed in disinfectant for 30 minutes and then washed at a high temperature, at least 60 degrees centigrade. If you do own FMD susceptible animals, you must not return home and this must be done at a hotel. You are not allowed to visit any other premises with FMD susceptible animals for at least three days after visiting this premises.